Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you are new or special, welcome to you. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button below and join us on the journey. Now today I'm going to be styling my daughter's hair using this new product that I found at Fantana. No, before I go any further, for all the people who are still in the back, for all the people who believe that only textures outside of type 4 is nice hair or pretty hair. Shame! Shame on you! I believe that all hair types are beautiful, especially on our babies. My daughter, with both parents closer to the end of the type 4 scale, does not have the type of hair that a Jamaican would typically see and be like, Oh, the baby hair nice. And then we'd probably give an answer like, You know, we got Andy and our family. <laughs> no, she has real, real type 4 hair. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is how my daughter's hair looks without product. As I said before, it is type 4 hair, really coily, really kinky. It shrinks a lot. She does have some thinning areas because she pulls at her hair. So we're working on that. But she refuses to wear the bonnet that I bought her since she was months old. So you want to start with wet hair um her hair is freshly washed you're gonna need a comb this is the one i'll be using i'm also gonna be using the same jamaican black castor oil that you would have seen me use in my hair i have been using it in her hair since she was months old when she lost the hair in the back of her head um so this is a product that i was talking about it's the mild pomegranate and honey coil sculpting custard and it says enhances curls with deep definition for thick curly type for hair i saw the product did my research said it was kid safe so i said i was gonna try it um this is the texture it has so it's a kind of slimy uh custard texture you're also gonna need some rubber bands it's best that you coat your rubber bands with oil so it doesn't snag the baby's hair so first thing i'm gonna do is take a few drops of the oil and i am going to massage it all over her hair and into her scalp uh please ensure that you do all that you can to distract the baby so you know your baby best give them what they need my baby does not like having her hair combed and so as for the parts i'm not too keen on getting the parts straight i want to be in and out as quick as possible because she tends to get a bit fussy if it is that you are in her hair too long so as soon as I secure a section, I'm just going to use the wider part of the comb and detangle and then I'm going to add the custard. Uh, it really does have amazing slip and moisturizes the hair as you can see. So once I apply it to that section, I'm going to take one of the elastic bands coated in oil and I had planned to do um, some Bantu not looking uh sections but i changed my mind so you're gonna see me go back and pull the end of that one out because i decided instead that i was gonna twist all the way out to the end because i want to see how the product would work on her hair so again you see me with this section i am just going to secure it with the rubber band and then twist it all the way out to the end so so far i am really really liking the products i can tell you that it smells great it smells so yummy it smells like something you could eat so please ensure that you keep it far away from the baby all right so at this point i had to switch combs she was getting fussy so as i said you have to try and distract your baby as much as you can you know your baby best so i had to give her that comb and take another one as we continue so i'm basically going to be doing the same thing throughout the hair just trying to get sections detangling adding the custard securing it with an elastic band and twisting just a point to note ensure that you don't secure the rubber bands too tight 
in your baby's roots because that can cause pain and discomfort as well as that additional tension can cause your baby's hair to fall out. So I just wanted to zoom in a little bit and show you I'm really liking how the twists look juicy, how the hair looks really moisturized. Yeah, so far so good with this product. At this point I probably only had two sections left but she was like all right mommy that's it I'm over it mommy. stop now mommy don't put the me right now mommy yeah mommy don't yeah 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 no I'm not this listen my child is a character okay so um as soon as I got her calm enough, I just continued uh, doing her hair. So these are the last two sections. And I must say, I do plan to continue using this product. I guess I can do a follow-up video. Um, just updating you guys and letting you guys know whether I continue or discontinue. But I plan to use this product again on my daughter's hair. And of course, a little goes a very long way because we barely used any out of the jar. So as you can see, the hair is finished. It's really looking shiny, moisturized, and I'm pleased. I must say, compared to where we started, I'm really, really loving the results. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your girl Trish Mack and before I say goodbye, remember broken wings can relearn how to fly. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And let me know if you try this product on your baby's hair. Thanks guys, see you in my next video.